Welcome back to Creative Excuses. Today we are soloing a Bastion Nimic on my Arcane Archer. A lot of you have been commenting about this build on its video, asking if there's an update, and there will be. I've made some great progress on this build, but because it is about to be buffed in update 39, I am gonna wait to put out that video until then. In the meantime, I wanted to show you that this build is as good as it has ever been and is able to solo not only Harrow Storms, which you can see in the video on screen now, but it can also solo the newest world events, Bastion Nimix, in a reasonable amount of time, too. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, well that was fun, fighting two of them at the same time. Alright, let's jump into this and do it. Eater of Secrets. Okay, we get this one. Alright. This side's not too bad, so... Even with our bad AoE damage, this is not super bad. Our AoE damage isn't terrible. It's just not amazing. I am gonna ult this. Especially if we get the ultimate off. Like, our AoE damage is great. But without the ultimate, it's pretty mid. Run through here. And now... I don't actually think we have to kill these adds. But I'm going to, just for you guys to show that it can be done just fine on this character. And this build. Like, you still want to know the mechanics and everything, but it is totally fine. And we're going onward. So I think, yeah, when we come up on runes like this, there are three waves of adds that we're going to have to kill. And using an ultimate on the first one is not super smart, but it does the job. It helps get the first wave down pretty quick. And again, we don't have crazy AoE damage. There's no AoE spammable in this build. So I want to kill the Lurker. And I really want to keep up Crit Surge. I'm actually going to kill the little guy. If I could target him. And... Basically onto the next wave. And we have an ultimate for the last one, so... I guess it's better to ult the first one and the last one than it is to ult the middle one. Oh, there's only two waves. Okay, I think the later ones have three. We'll find out soon. We don't have to kill those. We do have to kill these ones. Drop that. And I want to try and stand in the middle of everything so that my hurricane is hitting as much as possible. I would focus the seekers when you're when they're up because they deal a good bit of damage. Rude. Pop any interrupt. And then these watchers. Uh, my crit surge went down for a second, and that was almost disastrous. Because you do have to do all all waves again. Drop the ult. I think we'll have one more green rune that we're gonna have to clear out. I keep getting interrupted. Yeah, one more after this, and then the boss fight, I believe. We interrupt this program with a message from today's sponsor, Creative Excuses Subscribers, which is only 16% of you? Go hit that subscribe button if you like this content and help the sponsors out. Somebody who eyes someone said, more subscribers equals more dopamine equals more videos. Now back to the video. Yep. If you are doing the secrets, you'll have extra to do. But... I am not doing the secrets. I've already done all of them on my Arcanist, which was a lot of fun to go and figure out. I just did that playing on my own. I didn't record it or anything. 
They are, they're not too hard. But they are worth doing. And bonk. Get this. Drop that. Again, I want to focus the Seekers because their little AoEs on the ground hit quite hard. Oh, my enchantment ran out. That's not good. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not good. That is what you call DPS loss. Charge. All right, one more set. Seekers. Good, we got an ultimate. I am overcasting Caltrops a little bit. I just want to make sure it's up the whole time because it deals good AoE damage and helps me keep crit surge nice and healthy. Perfect. So we want to take the one that goes upstairs. Because this will lead us to the center, I believe. Again, we can skip those. And those, and we have this. This fight is very annoying. You know, I was going to try Hurricane, but I think I'm going to try a different skill here. I know that Hurricane works, but I think... I think Poison Injection might actually be better. We're going to try it. Because I can just dot them all up like that. It's like wasted global cooldowns, but there's one that does that and just runs around the whole time. Which is really annoying. The only disadvantage is I'm not moving very fast. Which is actually very helpful in this fight. Just dot, dot... Dot. For some reason, my ability didn't go off. But that's fine. Dot, dot, dot. Cool. Not bad. Because Hurricane only hits every two seconds anyway. And this lets me stagger it. I don't know. Maybe this is better. Maybe it's not. My damage doesn't seem to be too bad, though. Dot, dot, dot. Let's just focus this guy. I think we can kill him really quick. There we go. So they spawn waves of adds after you kill each one. Which is good for sustain. But can be a little bit spooky. Let's make sure we get dots on those guys. This is pretty chill. This guy's going to die next. And then he's going to spawn a little bit worse adds. If you hear that, I apologize. <laughs> I think someone's hammering upstairs or hitting the wall or something. I'm not sure. Okay, we can just focus him. But I do want to... Oh, there's Seekers. Let's focus these, actually. You see how much damage they deal? Get 
that going. There's another seeker. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Make sure crit surge is up. If that's not up, we will die. That is literally our only survivability tool in this kit. Okay. Easy peasy. I finally took a hit from the enigma. Oh boy. Spawning in last minute the ads. Got it. Easy game. And now we go back to the center and we're going to do the big boss. Which for that, I'm going to go back to Hurricane and we'll just see if that feels better. Let's see. How much damage did... I mean, Poison Injection did like 7... 10% of my damage. That's not bad. How much did Snipe do? Focus Dame did 23%. Interesting. Oh, it's this guy. This guy is super easy. I'm trying to remember. Do I need... Poison Injection is technically a little bit more damage than Hurricane. It's like very slightly more single target. Let's just drop the ult. And I don't think this guy's very hard at all. And there's lots of running around like this. So Poison Injection is going to be better. Specifically because I'm not always going to be in range of Hurricane. Technically a DPS loss. That's fine. When you're using Razor Caltrops, you only want to cast it every 14 seconds if you didn't know that. That's a one-shot kill. Is it? It hit me. I thought it was a one-shot. Zoom out a little bit. Make this a little easier. Make sure you tab target. I'm going to save the ultimate for one ad spawn. Break free. I'm going to heavy attack just to get a little stand back. Yeah, I say this a lot. Whenever you're using Razor Caltrops, you only want to cast it every 14 seconds when you're solo because the dot itself does not deal much damage at all. Drop the ultimate. The dot itself is not what you're using it for. You're using it for the penetration buff, and that lasts four seconds after you've already... Uh, four seconds after the dot goes down. Now, I don't want to let too many things spawn in. Dot should do enough. What is he doing? Running at me with his little T-Rex arms. See, the fight's really not bad. It doesn't even take very long to do this. Like, it's longer than a Harrowstorm, of course, but, like, this is not not terrible. Considering this boss had 5 million health. Let's take this guy out. Drop a Caltrops. I don't know if he has another ad phase. But let's get some dots on him anyway, and just push him a little bit. We can probably just burn through 1.3 million health. We're in execute range, so we have lots of bloodthirsty going on. Execute dot is doing well. I 
Again, break free from that. If you don't, you will die. Easy game. Bop. All done. Look at that. Solo Bastion Nimic on the Bow Sorcerer. Not bad. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This was a blast. I hope you are looking forward to the updated Arcane Archer that's going to come out next patch after the bow skill line has been buffed. Until then, I'll see you all in the next excuse.